Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, if you're liking this type of content, then you'll love our other channel called Mama, where we have Mexican moms rank all types of things. So make sure you check it out, link is in the description. And with that being said, we hope you enjoy this video. Like, this for kids? <coughs> Yo, what is going on, Gorilla Fam? Today, I will be ranking Mexican candy, and I might get a cavity or two. Okay, we can't begin a Mexican candy video without starting with the one and only mazapan. De la Rosa mazapan. Peanut dust. That's what this is. I can't smell it because of the wrapper. So the thing with these, you have to open them without breaking them. Impossible. Do you think I could do it? I think you have steady hands. I feel like you could probably do it. I have no nails though. Ah, you're gentle with your hands, I see. I'm a professional. I mean, come on, you saw the technique, you saw the finesse, you saw the pizzazz. Mm. As soon as you take a bite, it literally melts in your mouth. The peanuts all over, it's sweet, I taste the little chunks, it's just good. If you don't like masapans, you don't like being happy. Unpopular opinion, I don't like masapans. Why not? Crucify me, guys. Crucify me. I do not like them. L in the chat. I don't know. I just think they're too dry for me, and I just, I never really like the flavor. I personally like it. I think it's good. It's not too sweet, and I do like peanuts. 8.5. 8.5. Very good. I call this top tier. It's better than average, but it's not the best. It's a really good candy, though. I experience, peanut, dust. I think it's great. Masapan. Next on the Mexican candy list, we have Lucas Muecas. Chamoy flavored lollipop with chili powder. You pop this puppy open. You don't sniff it because it's full of chili. Is it pungent? Very. So in here, just chili dust covering the lollipop and guess what? <laughs> That's powdery. <laughs> That's intense. This is pretty spicy. Like, this for kids? <coughs> Yo. Is it too intense for you? Flavor-wise, it's good. But, like, the smell is getting me. I'm feeling it in my tongue. The lollipop... It tastes like a lollipop. It's good. I like the chili. Overall, this is great. And guess what? could save it for later. I don't think anyone ever actually saves it for later though. But you can, okay. I will give that. No, like honestly. A I, nine. I really like it. Okay, that's pretty good. The flavor of the lollipop, great. The chili aspect, great. It is spicy. This is a winner. Okay, next up in my Mr. Gorilla head right here, we have Pelon. I have butterfingers. They usually don't come in this size. This is something you buy when you're an adult because your mom's not there to tell you otherwise. So, okay, so how do you... Uh, this candy is also an experience. With this, you kind of have to play with your food, right? Parents are like, no, don't play with your food, Jimmy. I think that applies to a lot of Mexican candies. They're all an experience. Mexican candy, more than a candy. Huh? Mexico. Let's talk branding, huh? You actually have to press this down. When you press this down, what happens? You get little tamarind squiggle hairs. It's like a volcano. And do you know why they call it pelon? Why? Because once you eat it, there's no more hair. He's pelon. And then guess what? <laughs> I don't know any kid that does not like this. This might be top 10 candies in the world ever. You got a big bottle of tamarind. You get to squeeze it out. And guess what? Look. Oh, I'm done. Let me save it for later. Just like that. I'll tell you one thing, though. I never saved it for later. No, once that cap comes off, it's not going <laughs> back on. No cap. You want me to do it to them? And guess what? I will. A 10. This is... Mexican ingenuity at its finest. I love it. Okay, next on the list, we have Puparindo. Puparindo. And this one is extra spicy. Picante. I'll tell you right now, these are one of my favorite candies in the world. Your favorite? That's a bold statement. W one of my favorite candies in the world. But my mom got me hooked on these. Every time I go to her house, there's a box of these. My mom got me addicted. 
Thank you, Mom, for my addiction. These look, you open them, it looks like old leather. It kind of looks like beef jerky. Oh, man. This, <laughs> this smells so good. Wow. I do taste the spice, but all this is, it's just a slab of tamarind jerky that's covered in chili powder. I think that describes like almost every Mexican candy. For the most part, yeah. Do we have more? I'm not sure. <sighs> this is too easy. A 10 plus. That's too easy because they're perfect the way they are. Hmm? 10 plus. Putparindos, if you're looking for a spokesperson, I'm your guy. Next up, we have another experience, Squinkless. Luca Squinkless Salsa Getty. This is essentially Mexican spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. There's vomit on my sweater already. I'll give you this little cup with these little gummy pasta noodle things covered in chili. This one's actually mango flavored. But not only that, they give you a little packet of Lucas Gusano. Let it marinate. All right, let's see. Salsa Getty in one bite. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot. Oh, you could just eat it one by one. You don't have to eat the whole thing like me. But I will say, overall, it's good. But I prefer just the little pasta things. 8.6. With the little juice on it, that kills it for me a little bit. In their defense, you can eat it without the juice. It's a little too intense for me. The little noodles though, chef's kiss. Mexican spaghetti. Okay, next up in Mr. Gorilla's head right here, we have cucharita. Oh, cucharita de tamarindo. Eating Mexican candy is just an overall fun experience. That's all it is. This is literally just a plastic spoon generic, cheap, like it's, ooh. This is as basic a spoon as they come. One thing about Mexicans, they love the tamarind. Yes. And so do I. Mm. It tastes a little fruity, the tamarind. It's on a spoon, like, come on now. I feel like this is something maybe like your grandma would whip up and then it just became a thing. That's true. Like, I wonder like whoever created this, they're like, what should we put this on? Should we put it on like a plastic container? They're like, no, 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 no. What if we put it on a plastic spoon? <laughs> That's the one right there. 8.3. I like the tamarind. I do wish it was a little spicier, but I've had a little better tamarind. If you see them, these are fun. Give them to kids. You could take this anywhere on a... Put in your pocket. All right, this next one is my personal favorite, Duvalin. Ooh, got the hazelnut and the vanilla. These come with this little plastic spoon and it's so fun to use. Mmm, smells good. All right, question. Do you just eat it like that individually or do you swirl it? No, no, I, I combine them. You combine them? Yeah, yeah, I get one scoop, both flavors. That's how you have to eat them. I think, I think it's mandatory. I've been doing it wrong. Ooh, how's that? This shouldn't be legal. Sweet, creamy, decadent. You know what I call that? Greatness. 9.5. If you try it, you'll know. That's why I said it's. it should be illegal. I wish I had more, but I mean, wow. That's flavor. That's where greatness happens. Ramon, I have a question. And I might have an answer. Are you scared of clowns? No, not at all. Okay, perfect, because this next one is Paleta Payaso. Paleta Payaso, or like my mom calls it, Paleta Ramon, because in my mom's mind, I'm a clown. Ha, huh, mom. But anyways, these, also an experience. You open it up, and it's supposed to look like a clown. Know how I said supposed to? Yeah, keyword supposed to. Supposed to look like a face, at least, right? So what these are, it's a giant little lollipop made of marshmallow that's covered in chocolate. And the front is a face. You never know what you're gonna get with these. Oh no. You, you're either gonna get a good one or a bad one. And this thing's falling apart already. And da, 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 da. that's a pretty ugly one. Do they even try to put these on correctly? And like, look at the chocolate. Half of it's on the table. The clown here is me, cause I'm the one eating it, right? This is a joke to you guys? 
Do we look alike? I'll tell you right now, I'm not a big fan of marshmallow, like marshmallow candy type things. So I'm not feeling too hot about this one. I do like gummies, but the mix, I don't know. You get a lot of marshmallow, it's covered in chocolate. Then you get these little gummies. Which aren't that good. I like the creativity. I like the idea behind it, but I don't like it. It's like, what's going on here? It's not even put together properly. And what can I say? That's the score I'm gonna give it. A low score. Cause that's not it. Like if you're a fan of marshmallow and chocolate, you might like it. The little face is not there. It's not for me. A three. Oh. That's very low. I'm giving it a three because I like the idea of it. I like how they're creative, it's like different. It's a f marshmallow lollipop. I don't really see those. I don't like it, but I respect it. But I think if they actually tried to make it decent looking, it'd be better. But besides that, it has nothing else going for it, like me. <laughs> this chocolate sucks. All right, well, that wraps up the Mexican candy rankings. But we gotta ask the audience, what should you rank next? Let us know in the comments down below what you want me to rank next, what you want me to try, see, experience. So leave those comments down below or just comment down anything and just maybe, possibly, and most likely, I'll do it.